Yo, what up guys, this is TM, and today is an exciting day because we are unboxing the Galaxy S6 Edge right here on the channel, live. I bought this from my carrier. This is my carrier's box. So let's just go ahead and open up this. And inside, I've got the Galaxy S6 Edge's uh, box. And... I got a, a carrier stuff, you know, uh, the SIM card. This is the wireless charger uh, from Samsung that I'm also going to be unboxing in another video. Not this one, because this one is for the, the S6 Edge. Uh, I'll be unboxing this in another video. This is the official one. My carrier offered me this because I, I pre-ordered the phone. So uh, they gave me this for free. I bought the... 32 gigabyte version as you can see over there uh, and I also bought the white one so we got 4G LTE and we've got the best part this is a 64 bit octa core processor and this is going to be a beast to run games apps 5.1 inch quad AMOLED display which is one of the best displays in the world. Then we got a 16 megapixel with optical image stabilization uh, in the back camera, front facing camera, we got five megapixels. Then we got the wireless charging uh, capability and 32 gigabyte uh, memory. Let's go ahead and unbox this. So, you just slide this, let's put this aside. Then you got another white box well, this is a uh, fresh and clean presentation. And now since I already cut this part just to see if everything was okay, let's just go ahead, take a look. And there goes the phone. It looks pretty cool. Let's just lift this up. Okay, we'll take a look at the phone in a second. So inside you will also, uh, in inside this little box you will get some uh, yeah the usual manuals and all of that this is in Portuguese but these are just the manuals so nothing manuals warranty you know all that bullshit so you got a, a fast charging cable micro USB cable white one then we got the fast charging brick because Samsung claims that with just 10 minutes of uh, charging time you will get about four hours of um, of use. If they claim, if what they claim is real, it's gonna be super cool. And what the hell? Let's just take out the plastic. Okay. This outputs 5 volts 2 amps uh, or 9 volts 1.67 amps. Okay, so this is definitely going to fast charge your smartphone. Let's put it aside also. Then, then we have this uh, sim ejection tool because now we have to eject our sim since we don't have access to the interior of the phone. And we got our headphones. Let's just open up this one. It, it's it's uh, it's always good that they include this. Well, what the hell? It's always good uh, when they include these headphones, even if you're not going to use them. It just gives that touch that it means that they care. If you know what I mean? Uh, okay, so nothing left inside the box. Let's put this aside. Okay, so we got some earbuds because people have different size of ears. Uh, these headphones are different. I think they look a bit like the the iPhone ones. Wow, these are comfortable. These are definitely comfortable. Okay, I really like them. Probably going to use them. Uh, so let's put all of this aside and let's focus on the one, the beast. And let's go ahead and remove the plastic. Okay, what the hell? Okay, I just powered it on. 
Okay. Oh my god. This was the fastest boot that I've ever seen in a smartphone. The first boot normally takes about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. This was pretty fast. But first, let's take a look at the device. Uh, let me just adjust the lightning. Okay, over here. Okay, so let's take a look at the top of the phone. So you got your, your speaker. You're, uh, well, only for the phone calls because you're not going to be listening to music with this. You got the sensors over here, the front facing camera. Now you got the home button, the uh, apps, the recent apps uh, button, then the back button. Now let's check out on the side. Okay, this is pretty thin actually. This is, yeah, this is one of the thinnest uh, smartphones in the world. Now the button is very nice to click so it's a hard sturdy button which is always good to have now uh, over here you got the uh, this is why you you can put your sim card uh, th I believe this is the IR blaster and this uh, I don't know maybe some sense a uh, sensor or I don't know uh, then you have the 16 megapixel back camera which is that records in 4k which is super cool uh, you got the flash all the sensors you know all that shit and in the, on the back you got this glass that you might think it's going to break but it isn't because this is Gorilla Glass 4 and this can handle a lot of uh, a lot of force a lot of scratches it won't scratch it can handle it all now I know why people say that it looks like the the iPhone 6 yeah on the bottom it's pretty much the same thing <laughs> you got your uh, your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack your uh, micro USB then you got your microphone and your speakers you got these uh th this thing right here that's also here Is this rubber no, it's it's not rubber, but it's it's plastic. Yeah. Uh, now on here on the side, you got your power, your volume up and down. Uh, the buttons are really nice to press, if you know what I mean. And the edge on this, because that's the best part. Can you can you see the edge? Well, you can see you can definitely see the light. Yeah, the light, you can definitely see the light, but as you know, you don't have, you don't have uh, as much edge as you, as you had in the, in the, in the Note, in the Note Edge, in the Samsung Galaxy Note Edge, uh, it's not, you don't have as much as edge that you had in the, in, in that one, you just have a little bit, but it definitely, uh, looks good it definitely looks good i'm just going to i'm just going to configure this uh and then i'll be right back to show you uh to just show you a couple of things inside okay guys so i am back i just configured this and i've been playing around with this just for a bit and by what i can see right now is that it is super fast the touch whiz has been renovated has been redesigned uh, it looks fast it is fast no lag everything is cool you got the wallpapers when you do the options you got the wallpapers where you can choose the wallpapers but this part is uh, well actually actually nothing uh, different you got the widgets uh, okay so you got all the normal widgets that you normally have then new part you got the themes you got the default you have these two over here but you can go to the store and download mon many more themes uh, well I haven't um, found I haven't found find uh, found any that are that I like uh, but uh, well hopefully there will be one but the normal one looks cool 
Then you got the screen grid when you can choose by 4x4, 4x5, and 5x5. You can just choose the win, just choose the one that fits your needs. Well, I like the 4x4. Uh, maybe I'll just leave it in 4x5. Okay, so apply and done. So you got the normal, normal things, music, video, calculator. Now you got a folder that says tools, my files, smart remote. Okay, so this is to uh, this is to um, to control your TV. You got the calendar, uh, S Health, S Voice, Galaxy Apps, the Smart Manager that lets let, that lets you manage the battery, the storage, RAM, and the device security. Like just like an antivirus, you can just clean and it will uh, process all of that. And, make your phone faster but it already is I got YouTube Play Store the normal settings let's take a look at the settings oops uh, then you got the quick settings over here and then you got the connections normal things nothing really too uh, too different then you got the NFC and payments uh, well mine is turned on and the tap and pay that you can uh, just go ahead you got the things you got the the payment in your store just go there tap that and it will pay automatically and I just configured my fingerprint so it will detect my fingerprint and it will be uh, and you'll pay much faster then you get the sounds all of that uh, all of those normal things now let's check, check out the edge screen options so you got the edge lightning the people edge and the notification the edge lightning is uh, when you receive uh, calls or, or even notifications, the edge will uh, will turn on, and when the screen uh, the is face down, just like this, you will be able to see over here the the light. So it's very bright in here, but you can see just a uh, you can still see as you can see you can you can see the the color here but it's also very bad because I got two lamps pointing here so that you can see it uh, then you get the people edge when you swipe from up here um, you will see the uh, favor your favorite uh, contact which is uh, which is also nice uh, let's check out some some more features you get information st stream which is also good let let me show you that so imagine your phone is just like this and you want to quickly check out all your notifications you just do it like this and it will it will um it will show up as you can see the weather the time uh the date battery percentage and if you swipe down you will see the notifications as you can see not no notifications and checking for news updates so uh, no messages, no calls. You can add other notifications um, so that uh, so that you can see other things on the on the edge. Then you get the weather. You can yeah the edge screen timeout. So nothing really to uh, to. You can also. You can also uh, choose the the edge position. Well, I like it on the right side since uh, since. Okay, so now we got the most the motion gestures. Uh, in the motion gestures, you got some different things that you didn't have in the Galaxy S4 or S5 and all of that. You got the direct call. This one you um, you also you had before. That is when you when you are in the contacts in the messages or uh, anything like that with a person, you just go ahead, place your phone right close to your ear, and it will automatically start calling that people that that that, that person. So uh, pretty easy and fast. Now you got the smart alert uh, when you get a alarm, notifications, or even missed calls. Um, I'm sorry. When you got messages and missed calls, when you uh, when you grab the phone, it will vibrate, telling you, "Hey, 
you got a notification, you got a missed call, something here is that's important. Um, well, not just dumb notifications, just like uh, uh, up, apps up, apps were updated. No, not those things. It's just like messages and missed calls, which are uh, more important. Then you got the mute. That's when when you have an incoming call or even alarm, and you are somewhere else, or uh, and you are in a meeting or whatever. Even if you're just at home and you want to stop that, you don't want to answer to that, or you are busy. Uh, just go ahead. You can put your hands, put your hands uh, just right above the the uh, the device, or you can just place it just like this, and it will stop automatically. Uh, the uh, it will stop ringing. Then you have the palm swipe to capture. Just go ahead, do this. Oops, and boom, you got a screenshot. It's saving screenshot. Let's take a look at the screenshot. So there you go. I took a, a screen, more two screenshots huh, back there. Okay, so the gallery. Now uh, you got the applications, the default applications, and you can pretty much uninstall. Let's check out. I've got some notification. Yeah. So these are my carrier um, apps and I can just uninstall them which is pretty nice because I don't want this bullshit. Okay, this one I want. But this I don't want this fucking bullshit. Okay. I just... Okay, this one I want. But uh, uh, for example, this one, I don't want this. So just go ahead and uninstall. So I set mine with, with my fingerprint uh, you can add more fingerprints uh, with this finger, for example, or even this finger, or someone else's finger. I must say that I thought that this was going to be, was going to be heavier and thicker, but it is super thin. This is actually super thin. the The weight it is so light. It is so light, and the back, you might be worried that it's going to, to to be all scratched up after 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 a couple of after a week or something like that. You must be thinking about that, but um, it won't happen because we have Gorilla Glass 4, which is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay. Oh yeah. And by the way, let's check out the camera app. Okay. So the camera launched pretty quickly. Okay. And it, it looks pretty good just by looking at uh, you got the modes let's check out the modes get the pro modes where you can uh, where you can play with all of these uh, all of these settings and you can also uh, make save a current uh, current settings you know so that you have some custom profiles already created uh, then you have the selective photos focus Tap an object less than 20 inches away to focus on it. Then tap. Damn it! Let's check out. Let's. Okay. So there you go. Focused over here and not focused on the back far focus pan focus no near focus save okay so let's just go back oops uh, and let's check out the double tap to launch the camera the camera launches pretty quickly now you have the flash let's uh, let's put it in off mode you got the normal timer, the HDR. You can there's a, a auto mode, auto mode. Then you got some effects, and the effect you can actually see the effects live, which is pretty cool. Smile, shoot, capture, record video. 
stop recording. No, that, that one doesn't work. <laughs> okay, I was just trying. No, no. Yeah, if you swipe down, you'll see all the notifications uh, and you can access the uh, the favorite contacts. I only set this one over here. Uh, what? Oh, the screen, huh? the, the timeout screen. Uh, if you click on that, you will have the option to call, send a message or an email, whatever. And if you go just like this, you can, for example, use this and maybe the messages. So n over here, I am taking a look at the uh, at the the gallery where I can see my camera, the images that came with the phone, the screenshots that screenshots that I took back there and I can if I want I can resize and uh, over here in the messages I can start sending a message at the same time or I can just be um, imagine that I'm browsing my pictures just like this and I'm answering messages and uh, receiving new messages so I definitely think that this is nice. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video. This was TM and I'm out.